nuggets. Okay, so preseason is over and uh, we've done some business, been through the squad. Wanted to run you through a few things. So here's the transfers we've made, a lot of loans. Okay, so these were the ones that were in before we came. So we picked up Nathan Malvia, Mavia. He was actually already in the squad, but his contract ran out. Um, he's all right. You know, he's really in as a backup to Nathan Green, who I'll show you a little bit later. Um, but he's actually had a few games. Nathan Green got injured, and he did pretty good. You know, he's not bad. He's got decent physicals, which is what we're looking for for everyone, but particularly for a, a fullback or a wingback. Uh, actually, most of the people on the left, defenders on the left and the right in this squad already were wingbacks. So it's pretty good. It works out pretty well. So uh, we got Mavia. He's in um, and he's had a few games. We picked up Dan Thompson. He was already in the squad, um, but his contract was out as well. So we renewed him again. He's all right. It was more about the fact that we only had one striker. We had no one in the reserves or the under 23s rather. Um, he was there. He was cheap. Just picked him up. Uh, again, okay physicals. They look better than he's playing, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, he's okay. He hasn't had much of a run. Uh, it, this one appearance, two goals, it looks better than he actually played. <laughs> he's been brought on three times. so um, And one of them was a penalty anyway. But, yeah, he's, he's, he's done okay. You know, hopefully he'll do a bit better. Finishing nine is okay. It's not great, but it's okay. I mean, you know, I've had a look around for better. So we've got him, so at least we have a couple of strikers up front, uh, neither of whom are great. We brought in Teddy Bloor, so this is um, the right back. So we have another one, I'll show you in a minute, uh, but he was leaving, so I thought, well, if he does leave, we can't pick him up, we need, no, we need a backup. Uh, we don't have any money, so we brought in Teddy Bloor on loan. I like this guy, he's not exceptional, but he's very all-round. So he's got, uh, also got decent free kick taking. We have a better free kick taker. We actually have a great free, tick, free kick taker in the squad. Um, but when that player's off, uh, he's a midfielder. He hasn't, doesn't have great stamina, so he might be off a lot. Uh, Tilly Bloor can take over if he's on the pitch. And overall, pretty good. I don't think he's a wing back uh, just because his stamina's low. Uh, we're going to play him like that anyway and then sub him out if we need to. But I like the look of this kid. He's pretty good. If you look at his potential ability, he's five star. He's only on loan. But hopefully, um, if he plays well, maybe we can make that permanent. Um, Zion Hakim. This wasn't a good loan, loan signing, actually. I kind of, I don't know what I did here. I don't know why I signed him. He's okay. He's not terrible. But he's just not as good as the options we have. We did need a backup, so he'll do okay for that. He does have good stamina. Um, his acceleration's okay. But for a winger... That's what you expect. Um, and his finishing is actually pretty good for a winger. But I've played him a, a once and I don't know. He didn't light me on fire, to be honest with you. And we have someone a lot better than him. So, you know, and the person we have that's a lot better is Georgiou. So I'm really feeling this guy. He's in on loan as well He's from Stevenage. Um, great physicals, uh, although his stamina is low. Uh, he's got good acceleration. He's got good natural fitness, good pace. Great flair, good determination, good dribbling, good crossing. Like, this guy feels like he's going to do the business for us. And so far when he's come on, he's looked really good. Two assists and a goal. Uh, 7.2 rating already in the friendlies. Uh, he can play a lot of positions. He can slot in as a number 10, which is good because we're playing a number 10, um, which I'll show you the tactics in a minute. And we only have one player there, Dominic Vose. So he can slot in there. He's, he's our primary attacking midfielder on the left. But if he needs to come out, we can bring Hakim in there and we can drop him over to uh, there. He's, I think he's a shadow striker. Yeah, he's a shadow striker there. Although, I mean, he can play the advanced playmaker. You know, he's got the flair. His vision, you know, I don't know. His vision is pretty low, isn't it? But he's good. I like this kid. I've got good, a good feeling about him. Um, so, Carlos Edwards is a 39-year-old. <laughs> he's old, man. But he's an international. He's got 94 caps for Trinidad and Tobago with four goals. For a, not bad for a right back. Um, but look at him. He's fantastic. I mean, he's got, there's a lot going for him. Very well-rounded player. Obviously, his physicals are dropping off. He's, he's older than Sin. Um, but there's a lot about him I really, really like. So I picked him up because he was £160 per week. And he's our under-18s coach. So it was a shoe-in for me. Like, I don't even know if he's going to get a game or not. Although these 
attributes do suggest he should. Um, and he's actually a little bit better, I think, than Teddy Bloor. It doesn't say that there, but I think he is a little better. Oh, you know what? It's because of the role I have him in. All right. But um, he's coaching the under-18s, so we, and we're going to be focusing on youth, hopefully, in this team. So it's good. He's not a great coach. <laughs> in fact, he's a pretty bad coach. But it's one less wage, and, and money is going to be a big concern for us. So we got Carlos in. Uh, Sam Squire, I like this guy. Another loan. Um He's defensive midfielder. We actually have a 4-1-4-1 DM um, the, uh, tactic that we can use. We tried it out for the first few games, and defensively it was pretty solid, but we weren't making enough opportunities, so we went with the 4-2-3-1, which I think we're going to start the season with. So he's not going to play the DM role, but he's good um, in the middle, as a either as a ball-winning midfielder, or actually I've been playing him as a Carrillero, and he's actually good. I like this guy. It's a lot about him that's good. He's good all-rounder again. Um, his mentals are great. Um, and, well, just, you know, just a solid player overall. He's consistent. Is that inconsistent right there? Okay. It's not red, though. <laughs> He's filled a little bit, bit more consistent. It's a nice round circle in his uh, attributes. Uh, what do they call this thing? The analysis. A nice round circle in there. So, yeah, I like him. I got a good feeling. When he does have to play DM, we got him in halfback. Um, so he drops even further back and really helps shore up the defense, which he seems to be extremely good at. So uh, I've got a feeling for this guy. Um, I might change his training right now because, honestly, I don't think we're doing that. We're, we're, we're not going to be playing that um, defensive midfielder role very much. Well, that might change. We'll see how the season goes. Anyway, so that's Squire, and then I showed you uh, Georgie. Okay, so that's it. Let's take a quick look. Uh, nothing really changed in the under-18s. I moved this guy under their recommendation. Um, Under-23s, I actually moved a couple of people up, so this doesn't really reflect it, but we've got no one new in there. Finances are looking as you'd expect. A bit worried about, well, actually very worried about the wage budget. We're under, but we need to be a 1,000 under, <laughs> and we're not. And there isn't that much we can do. I needed to bring in a couple of players, and most of them were cheap. The problem is the, the existing players. The incumbent players are just crazy expensive. I mean, look at this squad, man. The last manager spent a fortune, 600, 600, 5, 5, 5, 450, 450. And, you know, they're good players. I mean, I like, I would take all of these. Maybe not Depot. See, I don't think this guy's worth 500. He's okay. He had a great game last game. But, I don't know. He, he Like, a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, you launch him from the back. And put him in front of the goalkeeper, he doesn't score. He's just not that guy. And he looks great. Look at the physicals, everything about it. But he is a good runner. He's a great runner as a target man. I can see him being amazing. Like he'll run all day for you and he'll pass the ball off and he'll do all of that kind of stuff. But I need someone who puts it in the back of the net. And I don't think he's going to be it. Um, which actually reminds me, which is why we're trying to get someone else in. So the last loanee we're hoping, there's a lot of loans, I told you, is we want Cameron Peters in. Um, there wasn't much out there, to be honest with you, so I took what I could find. I do like his physicals. I like his natural phys fitness. I like his strength. His acceleration and pace isn't perfect, but it's okay. Again, he's got a nice big round circle. Nothing too worrying there. Better finishing. Not amazing, but it's okay. And I don't know, I just got a bit of a feeling he can pass it off of Vinicius, who's got decent technique. You know, we got him from online from Walsall, who are, uh, which league? They're in League One. We scouted all of the League One teams, and uh, we got a lot of loan. That's how we got our loanies, basically. They're all League One um, reserves. Um, but So hopefully he'll come over to us uh, and maybe do something for us. Uh, we'll get, we will play him as a poacher. It says he's a target man, but we'll be playing him as a poacher if we get him. Uh, or maybe an attacking forward. Uh, so yeah, apart from that, the wages, the finances are a concern. Uh, here's the tactics we're going with. Um, actually, you know what? Let me show you on the team report. So if you don't do this, you should. Empty it out and then slot in all your players. So we've got Block Jorgensen in goal. Fantastic. In the friendlies, this guy's doing the business for us, man. I think he's really good. Um, he might be one of the best goalies in the league, I think. In Certainly in this division. In, I, only in this division. Um, Edwards as the backup is a really good goalkeeper. So I think he'd be first team any other team. So we're lucky to have him. So goalkeeping, no problem. I think we're sorted. Block Jorgensen isn't as great on one-on-ones. Um, and that shows. Like, 
but there's a command. He has like a presence in the area, so I like him. Uh, over on the right, we've got Ming, Edwards, and Bloor. Um, all three of those are going to fight it out a little bit. Bloor is two stars, but he looks better than that to me. So, I don't know. We'll have to see. Our central defense, no real changes here. We've got the same guys that we had in. We've got... Uh, I do like this guy. He's getting on a bit. Uh, Okungwa. <laughs> you know what? Okay. He is going to become... Because I get these two players confused. So, he is going to become... Can you do a question mark in this? Let's see, Magnus. No, you can't. Let's just call him. So that's Mag. Okay. So we've got um, Magnus. Okay, it will show in his, in the squad. We've got Chambers, who's a young guy. He's doing. He looks pretty good at the back. Quade Taylor, who looks okay, and Esman, who already had it on loan. Uh, over on the left, we've got Green, who's injured. He looks pretty good. I like this guy. Um, look at these bottom physicals here. Great. Strength, stamina, pace, fitness. Very, very good. Solid. Solid all-round uh, player. And he can play anywhere on the left. Unfortunately, he's out. Uh, for uh, it says eight days to four weeks. I think he's going to be out for another four weeks. Um, so we have Mavia uh, dropping in there. In the midfield, we have Karu. The other guy I get mixed up. On of Wigan. Let's say his name. Um... Michael on of Wigan. Let's call him Wiggy. That's a little bit. Yeah, that's okay. No, is it? Okay. Yeah, you know what I'm thinking. It's okay. Um, we've got Karu, who's getting on a bit and three stars. But you know what? <sighs> Look at that free kick taking. Ooh. <laughs> I've actually changed my tactic for him. I want him on the field just because, I mean, he's going to tear this league up with 16, isn't he? So I've changed my tactic to go for set pieces. He's also got good penalty taking. He's got good experience. I don't know how much longer he has left. He's inconsistent, which is not good. I don't like that. But I just feel like he, this guy's at the end of his career and, and he could have something. We're not using advanced playmaker. We've put him in as a DLP. But I have a feeling he could have a great season. Um, so far, on the, he's pretty good. He's just tired out a little bit. That's the worry. He's tired out. He didn't even do corners. So uh, we've got Karu and we've got uh, Wiggy can come in uh, to cover for him. We've got Ferguson, who's all right. It's a good all-rounder, you know, paying him as a Caliero. I just moved his training to that. Um, and then we've got Squire, who I talked about before. Cook, who's out injured. I think he's just coming back from injury. And Clunis, they're pretty much the same, one of four, one. We were playing Cook as an inside forward, but then we got these two lonies in, so I've moved him back over here. I think Cook's a little better than Clunis, but Clunis has been playing well, so those two are going to battle it out. Vos in the midfield. Um, Vos looks amazing. I don't know. Bit up and down. <laughs> he's had a couple of great games and some really bad games. Like, he's not as good as his technical suggests. So, I don't know. I think it's... he's. It doesn't say inconsistent, but he's inconsistent. So, I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, he picks up. And then two strikers, as I talked about. That's pretty much it. So, if we look at our schedule, let's look at the friendly. So, we played, uh, obviously, the under 23 So, we drew against Stratford, we won against Tring, we lost against Mansfield, that's when I switched the tactics, I was realised, you know, we're doing okay with the 4-1-4-1, uh, but we need to put something new, so we went with 4-2-3-1, and then we won 4-0, and this was a great result, we beat, it's only a friendly, but we beat MK Don 3-1, we dominated, and they're two divisions above us, and again, it's only a friendly, you don't want to get carried away, but it was a nice result, it was really good, so here's the tactics, that we have, uh, so that is our, uh, 4141 DMY that we can pull in. Uh, I'm actually going to change that down to cautious because we're not going to be playing this very often. Let me save it because I always forget that. 4141 DM Daddy. So that will be our cautious. Um, it's not our primary tactic. This is our primary tactic. We'll come back to that. And I put in a 442 just because, you know, you got to have 442. Just in case if, if, if everything goes to pot on the other ones, we'll go to this. But this is our primary. Is it still our primary tactic? Yes. The 4-2-3-1, uh, wing backs on both sides, support, might move them up to attack if we need it. I've got uh, the th a lot of attack up front, which we'll adjust seeing on how it goes. Caro is the deep line playmaker. Ferguson currently as a centre midfielder on attack. Uh, I could move him back to Caliera support because that's what he's training in. And I could also swap him for Squires. But right now, I just, I'm just going to play him in that. We'll see how he does. And that's it. So that's our team selection. Uh, on the bench, okay. First game of the season. Who do we want? 
Well, we're not going to put the uh, goalie on the bench. We don't do that. It's going to bite us in the arse, isn't it? Uh, Esterman isn't fit. He's almost fit, so he'll stay on the bench. Um, Edwards at the right, on the right. Sam Squire, Hakeem, Thompson covering. I mean, we don't have much choice here because we've got injuries. We could put uh, Wiggy, the midfielder, in, but I don't think he's as good as Squire. Quade Taylor's injured. It's a choice between Sanchez, Ming, and Edwards, and I want to give Edwards, at least bring him on as a sub, see how he does. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to start him. Let's start him. Let's see if he does does something amazing. Um, so Teddy Bloor can fill in. Look at all these loanies. It worries me. I hope we make some money. Um, and that's it, Nathan Green. Unfortunately out injured and Cook not yet fit, which is a shame. These two guys are key players. So anyway, that's it. Yes, I know. Everyone's lacking, lacking March, match sharpness. Let's see how we do. First game of the season. I think we should try to encourage them. I agree. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do. That wasn't a good start. Let's see. A lot more to come from you. The team's happy. There's no one unhappy in the team. You know, they don't support me, but they don't hate me. Look at my look at little daddy cool. Daddy. Daddy cool. Four foot eleven, three hundred and thirty-three pounds. He's fantastic. Alright, boys. Let's do the business. Mavir out there. Block Jorgensen's fantastic. I'm feeling so good about him. Oh, he doesn't let me down now, but he just looks so good. Carrow out to Ferguson. Oh, penalty. Carrow with his 15 penalty taking. Come on, you got it. Surely. Surely. Carrow, start us off right, boy. Yes. <laughs> See, that's why he's there. That's why he's there. He's there to put the penalties in. He's there to hit good free kicks. And just, he's there for experience and to show the team what's, you know, what for. And loving this new skin, by the way. But I just got a feeling about him. You know, playing positive, um, high, slightly high line. Um, there's not much in the. Come on, closing down. Oh! You block Jorgensen with the save. There's not much in the tactic, to be honest. With you. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. I've tried a few different things, but we're playing for set pieces. We're doing a high line. We're, we are trying to keep possession um, because I think we've got decent passes comparatively um, and um, oh, nice shot, Carol. Um, we've done okay um, the, the, it's not amazing possession but it's okay this one looks a lot better than it has looked so Caro again he lined up the first one <laughs> I tell you some, some stuff's going to go in from him oh no this way we need squires as a DM closing down no 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 it's wide open oh Block Jorgensen. Blocky. Beauty. All right, just relax, boys. Relax. Take a breath. Who's having a good game here? We're doing all right. Carey scored the penalty. He's only on a 6.8. That's not good, is it? They're nervous. They're nervous, lads. Do I throw out and encourage? Piss them all off? Let's see. Yep. What's the point of encourage? Okay. Doing well. It's a good start. Away from home against Welling. They're not rated Welling, but still. I'll take a 1 0. Yeah, three clear cut chances, one half chance. Yeah. This is good. I like this performance. Oh, that's them. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Uh, I think we should try to encourage the team. I'm happy with that. Although I do want to guard against complacency, so let's say that. All right, keep it up, lads. See, Vos just—he just—he just—I don't know. His stats look so much better than he plays. His attributes—I don't know. It just doesn't. He, he just feel like he's inconsistent. It's like there's a bug. It's not showing him. Like what? He's got great passing, you know, Chambers, good win. Come on, Caro, do the business. Georgiou, let one go. Go on, folks. Oh, you know what, he had to go. It's a good shot, on the woodwork. Yeah, yeah they're, they're tearing us up. Okay, it's all right, it's all right. 
How are we looking over here? See, look, Depot. I mean, I just don't like him. I just don't think he's got it in him. We'll bring him on down as a poacher. We'll see if he can do anything. Anything else we need to say? How's, uh, how's the old man doing, Carlos? So he's looking a bit ropey, isn't he? He's doing all right, though. Six, seven. I mean, that's this early in the season. That's okay. Ferguson, that'll do for now. All right, Thompson, come on, show me what you're made of. I brought you up from the... Oh, fucking Vose is injured. I'm getting a lot of injuries. Not good. All right, well, we got a Hakeem. That's why I got you. That's why you're there, mate. I mean, do we play him as a... He's got such bad finishing. We'll keep him as a playmaker on support. And with those out, I think I want to drop you back to Caliero. And I think actually I'm going to pull you guys back to defend. Just going to take the edge off a little bit. What's he going to score now? Just a little bit because Vosey was a big part of the attack. Even though he wasn't always performing. And so, I don't know, maybe Georgie will tear it up in the middle. Come on, lads. It's about to chuck out a bit of praise, but that will happen after this highlight and if they score the praise will confuse them so I'm going to have hold on oh don't long ball it into the back of my net go on go on son Clunis back to Clunis Georgiou in the middle now playing in his new role Clunis out to Thompson to Carew to Georgiou hacking a lot of nothing going on right now. Carew. What are you doing, boys? Oh, oh fucking hell. Let one go. Don't keep it at your feet, George. Shoot, 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 son. Fucking hell, what a goal. <laughs> what a belter. Oh. Telling you, George, you man. There's something about him. I just got a feeling about him. Hang on, pitch. I just got a feeling about him. Well, the feeling being is his tributes are great, but he just looks... He looks the business, this guy. If he keeps that up, we're going to be trying for a permanent. Okay. All right, tighten it up, lads. Tighten it up, tighten it up, tighten it up. Drop this down to balanced. What was that dive? Blocky. Dive like five minutes too early. See, Caro's looking beat. See, that's what worries me. Is I, I, I do worry that, that he's just going to get tired too quickly. I've got to take you off, mate. Can I play you as a DLP? Yeah, you'll be all right. All right. Well, that's a very nice start. Away from home. 2-0 win against Welling, who I think are not rated, but still. Georgiou. Georgiou having a great game to start the season. Ah, and Brock Jorgensen. Man's a wall. He's a hero. I love this goalkeeper. We must have the best goalkeeper in the keeper in the division. I can't imagine. I wish I wish there was a screen that would show that. See, look at this. They had a lot more clear cut. They they're going to feel gutted by that. But you know what? We were deadly. We were deadly. What can I say? I am very pleased with the result in your performance. Yes, I am. Okay, so up next we've got. Uh, let's see who have we got. Thurrock. Okay, I'm going to uh, pause it there. I'll come back uh, when we're ready for that match. Oh, I was going to start till the next match, but I just saw his injury. Dominic Vos. Oh, my God. Look at him. He broke his ankle. I mean, that's as bad as it gets. We've got no money. I mean, fortunately, he's not on a wage. He's actually on non-contract. So, but... I mean, he's out for five months, five to six months. What does that take us to? That takes us to the beginning of the year. We've got to, send, we've got to spend it. We've got a bit of money, which they're not giving to me, by the way. But, oh, Fozzie, I've got to talk to him about it. Support you during your... Yeah. Oh, he doesn't need our sense of All right, he's going to get pissed at me. Yeah. 
I understand, mate. I understand, mate. That's pretty horrible. Ah, uh, not good. Not good. Oh, that doesn't do us good. Look at that. That's a big hole. I mean, we've got to bring Georgiou in. I mean, he just did great, to be fair. But now we've got the gap over here. Cookie hopefully will be back soon. So he can play inside forward if Hakeem doesn't work out. But we're just we're stretching it so thin. All right, I'm going to have to work on the scout. And I'll come back when the next game's ready. Going to have to do some scouting. All right, welcome back. Um, so, uh, yeah, with those out injured, we've had to move things around. Good news is Cameron Peters decided to join us, so I put him on the bench today. Um, they're all still injured, the same people, but they're coming back. Cookie's on the bench. Uh, he needs match sharpness. He's played a couple in the reserves, and he did okay. So I need to get him on. The problem is, if you look at him, um, he can play anywhere, so I'm not sure <laughs> where to put him in. Because we've got a lot of matches coming up, so I don't want to overdo it. I want to get him up, but if he gets injured, I'm in trouble. So I'm going to drop him in. I think I'm probably going to rest Clunas. Um, I'm going to just let Clunas have a run for like 60 minutes and then bring in Cook and see um, if he can pick it up. I'm resting Ferguson. I'm going to bring Squire in. Um, and then other than that, it's pretty much the same team. Unfortunately, Quaid Taylor and Esselman are still not fit, match fit. Uh, still recovering from their injuries. And, of course, we can only have five subs on the bench. I dropped Edwards. He did okay. Actually, he had a good match, but he's old. <laughs> he needs a break. So, Bloor's on the bench again, and we brought in Ming this time. So, that's pretty much it. We are ready to play. We are playing. So, yeah, I know match fitness. We're going to be getting that a lot. East Thurrock, who are 21st. He says we're favourites. But we'll see. We're at home, which I don't think means anything in this game. Pick up where we left off. Yeah, why not? Motivated, all right. Well, let's see if we can give him a little bit more than that, shall we? I have faith in you. I do have faith in you. And I have faith in you. I have less faith in you. Just don't don't tell him that. All right, here we go. East Thurrock. Come on, boys. We need a good one here. Yeah? It's raining. Georgiou playing in his new role. Out to OK. Let's see how Keem do the business for me, son. Don't ignore... All of the bad things I said about you, they were just, they were me, I was nervous, I believe in you, I think you can make it happen, son, we've got good possession here, uh, 53%, okay, okay, no, no, close them down, close them down, come on, there we go, Squire, out to Georgiou, Georgiou, knock it forward, good stuff, go on, Clunis, have a run, son, go on, Depot! Oh, he's fucking Mrs. Depot. That's why I want this Cameron Peters in. I just like... I mean, that was a difficult chance. I'm not saying that. It just seems that it, that's what always happens with him. He just... It's one-on-ones. He just never seems to stick it in the back of the net. Clunes having a good game. I don't think we can afford to miss our chances. We have to take them. Because we're not going to get... You know, I mean, I guess it's lower leagues. We might get quite a few. We're on a yellow. What else? They got any problems here? Any of them nervous yet? Do I encourage? No, let's demand. That do anything? Yes, there we go, focused. Here we go, lads, how are we doing here? One clear cut chance here, we got him a little bit. Oh, don't get sent off, whatever you do. Look, Block Jorgensen putting in the response again. Any highlights? Anything going on? Are they still playing? Everyone go home? All right. I won't take nil-nil. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. Now you can tell them they're disappointing. <laughs> I don't want to be the bad guy yet. That's right. Chase them down, Depot. Your position is under threat, son. Let's just give it another 10 minutes and then I'll start making some changes here. Hmm... Nothing happening. Nothing happening. Playing positive as well. All right, here we go. Caro, make it. Yes, get him off. How dare he touch Caro? 
Alright, let's make a change. It's down to 10 men. What can we do? Uh, it's not dead through that screen. It's an annoying screen. Uh, let's see. What can we do here? I think we need to give Cameron Peters a run. But do I play him as an advanced forward or a poacher? I'm on him as a poacher. Let's get him up there. Anything else that we can do here? We want to keep Carew on. I mean, we could bring Nathan Ferguson on. How's Squire doing? It's all right. He's having a 6.6. .6. I mean, no one else is playing that bad. <laughs> is, it time for, is it time for a little bit of uh, cookie? Clunas is playing well. So let's bring him in on over here. And we're going to play him as an inside forward. On attack. Don't get injured. Please do not get injured, Cook. Come on, lads. Show some passion. Show some passion. Come on, mate. They've only got 10 men. Georgia out to Mavia. Peters with his first touch. Isn't good. Squire. Oh! Whips it past the post. Attacking. Oh. Nil nil against Ted Carew. Nice delivery. Should have done better. Are they going to counter us? Close them down. They've got 10 men. Close them down. You run at them. They've got nowhere to go. Oh. Don't score against us with 10 men. Take it. Take it. Take it. Yes, Carew. The old man does the business. Cookie. Not good enough, mate. Squire. Caru. Nice ball out to Ming. Ping it, Ming. Shoot it, shoot it, Cook. Oh, yes, Claudius. Beautiful. Cookie made the difference there. Does that count as an assist? <laughs> A missed shot. Look at this. Ming. Ping. Off his head, Cookie. Has a go, which I like. And then Clunas finishes it with that amazing seven finishing. Beautiful. Wait, what? Do I need to? I don't want to make a substitution. Oh, I love it. Right, hold on, boys. All score another one. That would do two. No. Fucking head throw-ins. Keep it tight, boys. Keep it tight. Come on, Squires. Take it off him. No, 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 no. Yes, block. Blocky. Saving us again. Earning your seven point whatever. Get out. Cook, run. Have a run, boy. How's Peters doing? Has he done anything yet? No, not yet. Hold on, lads. Hold on. Caru, keep breathing. You can do it, mate. Squire. Oh! Ah, oh, you deserve that square. You rob, mate. Chambers looking a bit tired, isn't he? Don't pass it to him. Whatever you do, he might fall over. Right, cook out the square. Avia, nice. Oh, we're getting the chance from the crowd. Passing chance. Oh, that one, Karen. Ten feet wide. Yes. All right. Good result. Made us work for it, but a good result. What do we do? Two here? Yeah, you know what? We earn that. Definitely earn that. Good possession. We won in all categories. I'm proud of you, boys. You don't want to say... I... Mm. No. Well done, lads. I'm trying to get him on our side, Brendan. This is my assistant manager. Um, anyone break any necks? Anyone know any more in injuries? Well done, Cookie. I'm proud of you. No, no more injuries. All right, looks pretty good. Let's have a look at the uh, schedule. Wait, where's the table? There we go. We're in second, two wins out of two. It's not a bad start. Admittedly, two very bad teams. Oh, Welling doing all right. Well, 12th. Uh, who's up next? Haven't, oh no, that's, uh, who's our next to see schedule? We are playing Concord. We're a Concord. Seventh. Okay, so they're good. And then we're playing Chelmsford. Fifth. So they're good. And then we're playing Bath. 
11th. All right. All right, so we've got a good couple of matches coming up, and uh, I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks a lot. Bye.